JC Motors with a comparison of the showy Neotech and Multitech modular helmets. At JC Motors, you can ride with confidence and shop with confidence, knowing that we offer no hassle returns, life returns, and even a damage replacement offer. Go to jcmotors.com for all the details and you'll find out why over 310,000 motorcycle enthusiasts like yourself have purchased their parts and gear from us. Today, we've got Brett from Showy to tell you about the Multitech and Neotech modular helmets. Okay, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about the Neotech and also the Multitech modular helmets offered by Shoei. Uh, Shoei's been in the motorcycle helmet business exclusively now for over 50 years. So we bring that experience to you. And I can show you a little bit now about the two helmets and, and you'll be able to more, care, or more easily identify which is the right helmet for you. First of all, the, uh, the Multitech and the Neotech have slightly different uh, head shapes. The, uh, the Multitech helmet is a little bit more round than the Neotech. So the Neotech is a little bit longer front to back than the Multitech is. So if you kind of tend to identify yourself as more of a round head shape, the Multitech might be a little bit better helmet uh, fit-wise for you than the Neotech. Um, we're also going to uh, look at some of the features of the, of the different helmets. Um, the uh, the Multitech is a popular helmet that's been in our lineup now for uh, seven years, and it's been uh, it's you know continued to grow in popularity over that time. It has a lot of really great features. It has a, a really easy to operate ventilation system on the top, um, also a lower intake vent here as well. Um, the uh, the face cover, as you can see here, is a flip-up uh, model, and it's very, very easy to operate, um, even with gloved hands on. The, there's a red button here you just simply push down on, and uh, when you push on that red button, it releases uh, the latching mechanism. Now, one of the things that uh, makes this helmet a little bit safer than maybe some of the others on the market is the fact that our latching mechanism is all stainless steel hardware. So basically, once that, uh, once that uh, face cover is down, you can be sure that it's not going to pop up in the event of an accident. Um, one thing that uh, one thing that's also wonderful about this helmet is the uh, the ease of changing face shields as conditions change. Um, as you can see here, we uh, we have our um, our uh, quick release bait plate, base plate system equipped here on the Multitech helmet. Um, to release the base plates, there's no tools uh, there's no tools necessary. You just simply stick your fingers in here on the, on either side and then you simply squeeze the triggers and it release, releases the shield. Uh, you can you know, take your dark smokes on, uh, on and off, you know, your clear, and then to put it back on again, you simply just uh, line everything up here in the little round, in a little round circle with the little round circle on the shield, and then uh, just simply give it a little push, lift it, and it'll pop itself right back in again. And then you can just uh, lift the shield up and down a time or two to make sure you got it right and it's operating uh, as it's supposed to. Now, the interior of this helmet uh, has removable cheek pads. The cheek pads are available in a variety of different thicknesses, so you can kind of custom fit uh, your own helmet to your needs. Uh, the, the cheek pads that it uh, comes equipped with stock um, are kind of in the middle of the range. So um, if you if you end up uh, getting the helmet, trying it on, and you realize that the cheeks are a little bit uh, a little bit too snug or too loose, uh, you can you can get new ones uh, right away. And in fact, if you try the helmet on um, while the cheek pads are still brand new, obviously once it's been ridden in, we can't do this. But uh, Showy's customer service department will actually swap the cheek pads out for you free of charge. So if you just you know contact us, um, you know our customer. Service service through our website or something like that, uh, we'll actually exchange those cheek pads for you free of charge. Now uh, the interior of the, of the Multitech helmet is, uh, is not fully removable. The, uh, the, <clears throat> the center pad of the helmet is a fixed center pad, um, but you can still wash it. A lot of customers are under the impression that that's not washable. Basically the easiest way for a customer to, uh, to wash a helmet with a fixed center pad is just take the helmet with you in the shower. Uh, use shampoo or uh, some other real mild soap. Shampoo works well because it's really good at breaking down hair oils and, um, and sweat and things like that. So uh, if you use shampoo, just go ahead and uh, clean it out like you'd be washing your hair and then rinse it out and just let it air dry. Uh, one real important thing is to not ever subject a helmet to um, any kind of heat drying system because the expanded polystyrene inside, uh, which is there to, to protect you in an impact, uh, is very easily damaged by heat. 
Um, the the Multitech also comes with a, uh, equipped with a chin curtain. The chin curtain is also part of the aerodynamic package of the helmet. It um, it allows the air to flow down and around the bottom of the helmet, so it re it helps to reduce the wind noise. Um, of, of that of this particular helmet um, it also in in cold riding conditions will reduce the amount of air coming in through the bottom which kind of helps warm uh, keep your face a little bit warmer so I think uh, we've, we've covered a lot of the features here of the multi-tech helmet so let's move on now to the neotech now the neotech is is our latest and greatest modular helmet. Again, it's got a slightly different fit, so um, so uh, the the multitech may may work a little bit better for you if you're a really round head. But if you're a little more of an intermediate uh, to an or an oval shaped uh, rider, you may really like the uh, the fit of the neotech a lot better. Um, me personally, you can see my face is kind of a little bit um, you know kind of narrow and long, and and I really I really like the fit of the neotech, and this is actually my my daily rider helmet so uh, that's what I commute back and forth to work in every day um, the uh, the neotech actually uh, has a lot uh, a lot more aggressive ventilation system than the multi-tech does uh, the neotech um, uh, it actually flows uh, approximately uh, three times as much air uh, through the helmet than the multi-tech so if you ride in a really hot climate uh, the neotech may be a little bit better choice for you as well um, other really unique features of, of the uh, Neotech, again, it has, it, it also features the uh, stainless steel hardware uh, for, the, for the face cover. You can see there, um, you know, the, the, it's all stainless steel. So once, once that thing's closed, it just eliminates any chance of it popping open. So that's a really nice safety feature. You know, another great safety feature of both of these helmets, actually, I forgot to mention, um, uh, very few modular helmets on the market are equipped with uh, an EPS liner throughout the chin bar of the helmet. Um, you know, basically the EPS is that expanded polystyrene, um, the, the, basically the styrofoam that's, that's throughout the, uh, the top of the helmet. We equip the chin bars of all of our helmets, including our modular helmets, uh, with that EPS, and that's because the EPS is, is what uh, crushes and absorbs injury, or uh, I'm sorry, absorbs uh, energies in the event of an impact. So uh, we feel it's important to try to protect our modular hel helmet customers uh, just as much as we're working to keep the full face helmet customers safe. Um, other really nice features of the Neotech uh, include the the new pin lock system. Um, this helmet comes equipped with a pin lock. Uh, the pin lock is available for uh, for the multi tech as well, uh, but it comes stock on the Neotech helmet. It's in the box, and um, I'm going to show you now how to install the the uh, I'm going to show you now how to install the pin lock. So basically, uh, you just go ahead and uh, pop the shield off. Again, it's it's pretty similar to the system that I showed you earlier on the multi tech. Um, you pull the little trigger system, or pull the little trigger here, and uh, and it, it just releases the shield. And there's one on each side, so just pop both sides off. Okay, and then, <clears throat> so you'll see here on the shield, there are uh, little black pins. And that's why it's called a pin lock system. Um, the pin lock, what it is, is it's, it's, a, it's actually a, a porous material uh, plastic and it absorbs moisture. So uh, when you're riding in really cold weather or um, you know, if it's really humid out, rainy conditions, uh, the pin lock works great. In fact, uh, we've been using the pin lock uh, for the, for the anti-fog protection uh, for all of our MotoGP riders now for, uh, for probably at least seven or eight years. So um, it's definitely the, be uh, the best anti-fog protection that money can buy and it comes in the box with the Neotech. So I'm going to show you now how to, uh, how to work on that. So basically, uh, you just, just open up the package, pull the, uh, the pin lock sheet out. Now when you, when you pull the pin lock sheet out, you'll notice that on uh, the pin lock on one side uh, has a, a, silicone, a silicone bead. And uh, it's important to always make sure that you, you install it with a silicone bead facing the shield. And the reason for that is the pin lock works by creating a little bit of an air gap between the pin lock sheet and the shield itself. So um, always make sure that that, uh, that rubber or the uh, silicone bead is what's facing the inside of the shield. Um, additionally, uh, you want to make sure that you remove the protective film that's on the pin lock sheet. Um, it's uh, basically you just kind of peel up the corner there with your finger and you can pull this back and then you'll see there that it's, it's clear underneath. Now to install the pin lock sheet, go ahead and just pick up the shield 
and you'll see that the shield's pretty flexible, so you can flex the shield out a little bit, and you just you just put the little corner of the, the pin lock tab on the pin, and you'll see it works out there. Well, so then you got to get the other side lined up. So once you once you uh, get that pin on there, uh, all you have to do is just uh, just flex the shield out a little bit, and then and then flex the the pin lock sheet, and you just line that little tab up on this side as well. It pops right in. Let it go, and then you have perfect uh, anti-fog protection right there. <sighs> no fog at all. So now we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and put this right back on the helmet. So um, again, to put it back on, you, you'll see that there's a, a little bit of a, a detent there. Just line that up with, uh, with the thick part of uh, where it is on the shield there. Just slide that in there. And then once you get that once you get that pushed in on both sides, you just you want to make sure you lift the shield up and down a couple of times to make sure that you've got it in there right. Now the uh, unlike the unlike the Multitech, the Neotech has a fully removable, uh, washable, and replaceable uh, interior system. Um, the interior system pops out really easily. Just it just snaps right in, snaps right out, and you can take these out uh, and wash them. Uh, you can even wash them just in your regular laundry, but we do recommend that you uh, put them in a laundry bag to keep uh, keep these uh, these foam from getting snagged on zippers or anything else that you happen to be washing it with. So um, you know, just go ahead and throw these in the washing machine and clean them right out. Uh, we do, however, recommend the air dry them. Don't put them uh, in the dryer as the as the heat can damage some of the glues that we use uh, to to uh, fix the foam to the uh, to the padding material. Now, an additional feature that the, the Neotech has is uh, with the Neotech, we really concentrated when we were developing the Neotech uh, on, <clears throat> on silence. Um, you'll see here that the, the bottom of the cheek pad is, is quite a bit thicker. We have a, we have a sound deadening uh, material that's inside the cheek pad here, and, and actually that sound deadening material um, <clears throat> will, will greatly reduce the air or the noise that's coming up from the bottom of the helmet. Uh, Shoei has, uh, we have our own uh, full-size in-house wind tunnel that's capable of testing with a variety of different bikes um, at speeds up to 150 miles an hour. So uh, we spent a lot of time in the wind tunnel uh, working hard to make sure this is the quietest modular helmet on the market. So another feature that we have here on the Neotech, uh, both, both the uh, Multitech and the Neotech are, are compatible um, with the communication systems that are common on the market today. Um, with the Neotech, uh, we actually have a foam pad that covers uh, the, the detents that we have there for installing communication systems. So if you do decide to install a communication system in your helmet, all you have to do is just simply grab this little uh, pad here and just give it a little tug, it'll pop right out. And you can see there now that we have a nice little space there to put your uh, communication speaker. This helmet's also equipped <clears throat> with uh, this is our. This was actually our first helmet we've ever introduced that's had an internal sun visor. Um, our our internal sun visor is unique in that it's the only uh, it's the only internal sun visor on the market today that meets the uh, both the the ANSI and European standards. Uh, for uh, non-prescription eyewear, so um, that way you you can be sure that it's um, you know it's not going to distort your vision, um, and it has uh, you know it has shatter uh, shatter resistant qualities uh, also that are necessary to meet those standards. Um, we go ahead and uh, and we can I can show you now how to install um, and uh, remove the sun visor if you ever need to do so. So the sun visor is operated by this lever here. It's a real smooth system. You can move it up and down and you know just drops the visor down, raises it back up. In the event that you ever need to, uh, to remove the visor for cleaning, it's a fairly simple process. Uh, you'll see here that there's little tabs here. Um, they're uh, little, little tabs, can you, can you see them? Okay. See, the, see those little tabs there? Um, you simply uh, uh, pull that little tab with your fingernail or something like that and just rotate the visor down and away from the helmet. Do the same thing on the other side. 
and the visor pops right out. So then that gives you the opportunity to clean it, uh, do whatever you need to do. The uh, the visor is also equipped with uh, um, with an anti fog uh, with an anti fog coating as well to help reduce you know any fogging that you might experience. Now to install it again, it's real simple. Uh, you just go ahead and uh, and s same thing but in reverse. Um, you just uh, s simply pop those little things back into that slot. Do the same thing on the other side, and then just. Rotate it back up into the helmet, and there you go. Back in again. Real, real easy, no tools required. So now I'll show you a little bit of uh, you know the differences of the two helmets and the fit and how the, how they look. <clears throat> So there we go. So now you guys know a whole lot more information about uh, both the Neotech and the Multitech. You know a lot of the features of both and what, what make them different from one another. So hopefully that will make your purchasing decision a whole lot easier. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Brett. As usual, we welcome all your questions. You can call us at 800-706-9476 or go to jcmotors.com, get live support, and you'll find out why JC Motors is where writers get deals.